Hi, my name is Dr. Rick Hoffman, and I teach music theory at Belmont University. Before you take a theory class at Belmont, you'll take a theory placement test so we can see which class you're most ready for. We offer tests for Fundamentals, Theory 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you haven't had much theory, you'll probably need to start in Fundamentals of Music. Many of our students take Fundamentals, and most find it provides a good solid background before going on to Theory 1. If you've had some theory, maybe an AP course or another high school course or private study, you might be able to pass out of Fundamentals and begin immediately in Theory 1. If your background is really strong, you might be able to start in Theory 2 or even higher. But to pass out of any course, you have to pass a placement test for that course. And all placement tests include a section on Fundamentals. And preparing for that is the focus of this video. The Fundamentals test includes four basic areas. Basics of pitch and rhythm, intervals, scales and keys, and triads. We'll look briefly at each area in this video and highlight some of the things you should review. Now, I'm not trying to cover everything you need to know or every possible kind of question, but if you know these four main topics pretty well and practice the kinds of questions I'll show you, you should do pretty well on the test. First, pitch and rhythm. Pitch is pretty simple. You need to be able to read both treble and bass clef fluently. Many new students read one clef but not both. Now's the time to learn both well. You won't need to know C clefs like alto and tenor clef for the placement test. We'll get to that later on. Rhythm questions will focus mostly on counting. Note and rest values, how many beats fill a measure in a certain meter, questions like that. Here's a sample question. So we have two measures of 2-2. Two, two. What rest fills the last measure? The answer is B, the quarter rest. If rhythm is a weakness of yours, you might want to review that a little bit, but for the most part, we expect that you'll know the basics from lessons and ensemble experience. The second major area is intervals. Questions ask you to identify intervals in a variety of settings, but all are asking the same basic information. Let's identify a few for practice. Question A is a minor sixth. Question B It's an augmented fourth. Question C is a perfect fifth. Question D. This is a compound interval because it's more than an octave. It's a minor tenth. Question E is a minor third. Question F is another compound interval larger than an octave, and it's a major ninth. Here's a similar question. Which interval is an augmented second? The answer is C. The third main area will ask you about scales and keys. Some questions will ask you to identify key signatures. I strongly encourage you to memorize as many of these as you can, both major and minor. Knowing tricks for key signatures or always thinking about relative major and minor might have worked up until now, but to really make progress in college, key signatures need to be memorized. So here's a sample question. Identify the following major key signature. The answer is A major. Other questions ask you about scales. Remember, there are three forms of the minor scale, natural, harmonic, and melodic. You should be able to recognize all three forms written with key signatures, accidentals, or used in melodies. And here's an example. The following is an example of what scale. And it's B harmonic minor. Harmonic minor because of the raised 7. The A sharp is the leading tone. Some questions will show you a series of pitches and ask you what scale they could be a part of. So, for example, these five pitches could be a part of which scale? And I know this may take a little longer to figure out, but the answer is E major. E, F sharp, G sharp, A are the first four notes in the scale, and then D sharp would be the leading tone, the seventh scale degree. Other questions would show you a short melody and ask you what key it's in. So this one, for example, is in C minor. Remember, it's the notes 
in the melody or the notes in the scale that determine the key or the scale type, not how they're written. We could use key signatures, we could use accidentals, we could mix them. You have to think about the notes that are really there and figure out the key. So I suggest you practice writing scales with both key signatures and accidentals. Then you can play them at the piano, sing them, say the letter names, do whatever you need to do to get to know the notes in the scale. Scales and keys are a very important part of this test and we want you to know them really well. The fourth area is triads. Now because this test is multiple choice you won't have to write any triads but you will have to recognize them in a variety of contexts and that will include inversions. We'll include major, minor, diminished, and augmented triads. And here's a typical question. Which chord correctly spells E flat minor? The answer is A. Here's another. Which term below best describes the triad? It's a C sharp diminished chord in first inversion. How about this one? Which triad is in second inversion? correct answer is A. So that's the focus of the fundamentals test, those four areas, and you need to know them pretty well. But the bottom line is this. If you end up taking fundamentals, you'll learn a lot, you'll have a solid preparation for Theory 1. But if you already know this material, we want you to be in Theory 1 or Theory 2 or whatever level you're ready for. So study hard, do well on this test, and show us that you know this basic material really well. Take your review seriously. You don't need to go out and try to learn lots of new stuff you don't already know, but focus on being well prepared to show what you do know. The way to study for any theory test is to practice. So get out a pencil and staff paper and write scales and chords and intervals. Sit at the piano and play the chords and the scales sing them. Practice by doing. Don't just read over old notes or read through an old textbook. That really won't do much good. You learn theory by practice. More information is also available on the web. Go to the Belmont University Music homepage, click on the admissions link, and that will show more links for placement testing. So I hope this gives you a good idea how to prepare for the fundamentals test. Good luck studying, and I look forward to seeing you in Nashville.